Hey everybody, it's Lance here. Welcome to my channel and today we are deconstructing Miss Daisy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist the title. Um, <laughs> we're doing a deconstructed bloom and I'm using uh, some color art, primary elements, pigments, and I mixed those with my untinted base and my triple thick polyurethane varnish. And I really, really loved how this color palette came out. And of course, my base paint, my pillow paint that I'm gonna move it all around with is the PPG house paint and all of my paints and cell activator and everything is in the description box. And as you're seeing here, this is primary, primary elements, um, Jasmine pigment and it is beautiful and sparkly and very 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 vibrant um, love that color and I think the next one is ginger peach and that is also beautiful I mean you can really see it I got a good close-up on it um, just beautiful rich color and this color is Aurora and I love this color it is so cool it kind of blends the silvery kind of gray tones with a like peach undertone and kind of like a magenta undertone so i thought it was perfect to use with the other colors and i'm using two cell activators i'm using titanium amsterdam titanium white and lamp black from amsterdam with aussie floetrol so those are my colors now, I also just wanted to remind everybody, I am a color art affiliate, and if you like what you see in my video, and you want to try some color art colors or pigments for yourself, you can go to the link that I'm going to provide in my description box and type in my code, which is LanceTravis622, and you can get 20% off your entire purchase, and it helps me and my channel out a little bit as well. Now I have called this deconstructing Miss Daisy because I feel like these blooms, when they were blown out, um, reminded me of daisies and the beautiful, using the two, the, the lamp black and the titanium white cell activator really gave this a lot of depth and dimension with the cells and lacing. And it really created a sophisticated Kind of blending of the colors they're very beautiful and there is a lot of sparkle in there and i'll show you even a flyover of the dried result and even how sparkly it was even without any varnish or anything on it after it was dried but this the blending of these colors i really love what it does and how i feel like sophisticated and just kind of beautiful and there's almost like a muted kind of elegance to how these colors interacted with each other. I can't explain it, you'll see it later. Um, and such beautiful line work with the black and the white and the lacing, and there's some very petal-like shapes, even when it gets distorted and deconstructed and moved around. And I really, really, really love the look of it in the end. Um, and I can't explain it. It's just very different from anything that I've done so far. Um, it's not quite as over the top with the colors, but I love these colors and the color palette, how it's very um, just, it has that kind of burnt sienna feel to the colors and very kind of warm tone, but just in a beautiful way. And I even like this blowout. This blowout was not traditionally the way I would blow out a bloom but I decided I did not hate it and I decided to keep it and it kind of works very well with the whole composition of the piece in the end and I think I will take my valve yeah actually I did I think I didn't show it there but I took my valve and I blew out the white cell activator a little bit just to give it a few more cells in the center and as you can see now, I'm doing the second bloom and I'll take you in a little bit so you can kind of see these colors and 
I just love that Aurora color. It's just such a beautiful kind of silvery, and then some light it has, you know, warm, warm tones of color to it, and then also gives you that kind of silvery uh, feel as well. And I think the next color that I'm putting on there would be my ginger peach. And that is such a beautiful, vibrant, um, kind of peachy, uh, sparkly tone. I mean, I love it. And I love what it does with the jasmine, that pink. I wanted to tell you about something kind of fun right now with color art. If you visit colorart.com and you go into the master library, you can look at o the over 300 colors that are in there and search through the master library. And if you find Eddie the Emu, you want to click on him and put him in your cart and you'll receive a $25 discount, $25 off your purchase if you can put Eddie in your cart. And Eddie will be in different places in the master library every 24 hours. So you can check back and see if you can find Eddie. Now, as you can see there, I'm finishing layering the bloom puddle here and I put on my black lamp black cell activator and my titanium Amsterdam titanium white cell activator and I liked them a little bit thicker they're a little bit thicker I might have even had my white a little too thick but it still was fine I, I still liked it in the end it's just I would have maybe liked it to have moved a little easier but it um, was good in the end because I feel like it held its shapes with the cells and being shadowed by the lamp black better because it was thicker and even when it was being distorted or moved around I didn't lose quite as much um, shape in some areas uh, when trying to you know transform it and and trying to deconstruct it so I was pleased in that regard with it and I'm thinking I'm gonna get my Hard detailing tube out and blow straight down into it so I can pull up some more of those cells and then after we're done with this part of it always remember you want to kind of let this collect and let the pressure release from blowing down into the cell activator when you do that um, you want everything to kind of rise up to the same level so that when you move it around nothing is sticking and getting too warped in some places so that's just kind of a little tip there and as you can see i'm starting to put more of my pillow slash base paint around the edges so that we'll get it to slide a little bit better and I'm trying to move it around and see what kind of interesting shapes we get i already really find what is there pretty interesting so i knew i wasn't gonna have to do too much and i didn't want to lose too much of the composition kind of the way it was already looking there's some really cool things that I like on the if you're looking at the bottom petal there that almost look monarch butterfly like like wing shaped but also petal like so it was giving me that kind of daisy feel which is why I've come up with <laughs> the my funny title deconstructing Miss Daisy because <laughs> there's Miss Daisy and we're going to try to deconstruct her a little bit so now I'm just kind of moving it around. Now I really did speed this up for the sake of making my video shorter, but also because this was pretty slow, slow going. I didn't want, like as you can see there, some part of my middle was not moving a little bit. So I was trying to kind of wait and maybe bring it back and see if, if I waited just a little bit longer, that would help release the center of the bloom there a little bit more. And it's, it's doing all right so um, I like I said I'm speeding this up because it was a very slow kind of process I didn't want to kind of rush moving these that much because I wanted to keep some integrity of the shapes and that's something that you really got to kind of remember because if you try to do this too fast you're gonna lose maybe some of what you really love about the bloom itself when it's blown out so just something to remember Nothing. 
now we have a special guest on the acrylic crazy train this Sunday fun day and that is Miss Sarah Mack and she is such an amazing artist does so many amazing types of paintings and pours and is really known for her straight pours her beautiful straight pours her ninja swipes her dustpan pours and the list goes on <laughs> she's just incredible and I love her she's one of the people that I have known the longest in paint pouring and she's one of the people that I've known that even though she is a bigger channel and really more well known she has always been so kind and so giving and such a help to me and so many others and gives so much to other people as far as her knowledge and help and guidance and I really you know can't thank her enough for everything and how how she what a good friend and what a wonderful resource of knowledge and information and just inspiration um so we're so happy to have her on the acrylic crazy train with us this evening and starting us off always is the joy of pouring cy frost frosty eye candy and that's starting at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And after Psy is Darren with Venom Fluid Art at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Following Darren is Christy with Creations by Christy at 6.20 p.m. And following Christy is Shell Rock Art, Sheldon of Shell Rock Art at 6.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And our special guest, Miss Sarah Mack, is on at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and Britt Clayton of Britt Clayton Design follows her at 7.20 p.m., and I am our caboose at 7.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, wrapping things up, and I will leave everyone's links in my description box, and if you've missed anyone, please go back and watch everyone's videos. This is gonna be an incredible ride on the acrylic crazy train, so please check it out. Now, I'm Doing another bloom, I'm setting it up with a puddle of the uh, my house paint and gonna do a little mini bloom here because I wanted to put back in more of my colors like that ginger peach and that jasmine and a little bit more of an interesting composition by hopefully blowing this out with like one or two petals and not necessarily a whole entire large bloom and anyway that was my game plan and I really like what was going on with the bloom down below it's gotten distorted through the middle of the center but I kind of really love that and you'll see later I'm going to do some scoop and drag through that and it really created kind of an interesting focal point down there and here I have blown it out and I have more black in there and typically I wouldn't like that, but I did some things here too, manipulating it and kind of using my glove and stuff to make some shapes within the black cell activator. And it kind of has almost like a bat-like shape to it that I really loved. And I almost considered calling this my vampire daisy <laughs> because so many people had commented on this, either looking like a spider or a bat up there, but I really love it. There's an elegance to it the whole color palette that I talked about earlier. And here you see, I was doing the scoop and drag through there also through the center. And I didn't get to show you that because my camera, uh, the storage was full and I had to clear out some things on my phone. But here I'm doing the flyover and you can see these beautiful colors and the sparkle and just I love what it has done um, with the black and the white cell activator and the grayish, kind of smoky tones that come through with the Aurora. That Aurora is such a beautiful color. And yeah, it's just, I think it created some stunning effects. Now these were the wet results, but I also thought it was important to show you these, the dry results. And this is without varnish, without anything to finish it yet, no resin. But you can see the beautiful sparkle of these paints, the jasmine, the ginger peach, the aurora, like just stunning and beautiful and so sparkly. I'm doing the flyover with my flash on and it's just really, really beautiful without any kind of finish on it. And there you can see the scoop and drag that I did to the center of that one bloom down below. And I love how that turned out. It's just really very interesting 
and just kind of an elegant color palette all together. I just love kind of how beautifully subtle the blending of these colors is and uh, just that warmer kind of neutral color palette that it gives even though these are not very neutral colors when you look at them but when they're blown around and they blend they just create some beautiful tonal kind of watercolory effects and as you can see here it would make you know a beautiful addition to a variety of different types of rooms and just has that beautiful soft ethereal elegant type feel as always thank you for watching and thank you for hanging out with me on the acrylic crazy train please come back and visit me again soon for some more fun pouring together